Hello and welcome to my channel. So this video I wanted to really quickly do sort of an unboxing. I'm not actually showing me take them out of the box, but I just recently got the illustrated editions of the Farseer trilogy and I love them so very much and I hated the paperbacks so very much. So I was so happy to have them and I, I really wanted to show these off because these are amazing. Uh, so in case you're thinking about getting them or just kind of want to see, uh, here's this video. So I really just want to take a look at these because I've obviously been absolutely loving the Farseer trilogy so far. And then getting these just beautiful hardcover illustrated editions has really been fantastic. I am loving these. They're so much better than the terrible, terrible paperbacks that I had been using before. And really just, even from looking at the covers, very beautiful, the different colors. We have the golden buck for the first one symbolizing buck keep and the crest. We have the red ship for the red ship raiders. And then we have our blue uh, elderling type, I'm guessing, uh, look here. Still haven't finished book three quite yet. Uh, reading it now, which is much, much more enjoyable than reading the paperback copy once again. Those I definitely was not a fan of. But looking at the book, right off the bat, we get this beautiful full color map. It's a bit more detailed than any of the maps that we had before. And once again, just the color is very, very nice. Now, there are only a handful of illustrations in the illustrated editions. They call them illustrated, and there are, but just the, the make. We have each chapter starts with this nice border uh, and the font. So much just room, really not worrying about upping the page count. Uh, the third book at least is about 100 pages longer uh, in the illustrated format. Uh, and really, that's because it it doesn't cram it all onto the page like the paperback does. I really had that there. So let's see if we can find an illustration here and just show off one of those. So here we go here, one of the illustrations. And really, they're they're very, very nice. These are very well done. Once again, just so much care put into these books. Each one of them, just wonderful. Taking a look then, let's take a deeper look at Royal Assassin. Also starts with this lovely map. Uh, the same sorts of borders, but a different color for the different motif here. And let's find an illustration here as well. So here's a look at one of the illustrations here. It's front, back, the sides, everything about these for the 25th anniversary edition. These are, are not cheap. And normally I'm really, I don't like to get uh, books that I already own in more expensive editions. I really wanted these and my wife was actually nice enough to get them for me for my birthday, so I technically didn't buy them, because, yeah, it, it'll ring you up a little bit. Fun fact, uh, Lin-Manuel Miranda has the, the blurb on the back here, which is interesting. Uh, not really something I was expecting. So here, once again, we've got this nice blue border here, different border for each one. I want to find my favorite illustration was here. Really, really enjoyed this illustration. I'm not going to explain what's going on here because if you haven't read it, you, you won't know. Uh, but really, really enjoyed the illustration. And I still have quite a bit left to go in this one. Once again, just very long and just lovely. You can even see kind of a little light reflecting on the shiny, just beautiful, beautiful. I feel book. like to really get the full picture, here is a paperback version of the same book, Assassin's Quest. And I had a lot of complaints about my Royal Assassin and the quality of that book. But if we take and just compare these two books, this is the same book. Granted, this does have 100 extra pages. As I showed, the margins are fantastic in this book. And if we just flip to any page, extremely small text goes into the margins and just a pain to read. So I immediately switched from this 
paper back to the hardcover as soon as I got it. Once again, just in case you thought I was exaggerating about how much I didn't like the paperbacks, these hardcovers are just absolutely, absolutely beautiful, and I very much, very much love them. I did immediately have to do some shuffling uh, to get one of these two display. Right now I only have these two up because I'm still reading Assassin's Quest, but did a little bit of movement here on the shelves. I've recently started doing some display books. I enjoy uh, putting them out like that. So there's kind of the update with the move around to make sure that those are displayed because they've very quickly become some of the favorite books that I own. All right, so those were the illustrated editions of the Farseer books. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Comment, let me know your thoughts on these. If you have them, if you're interested in getting them, uh, if you've seen uh, any other illustrated editions of books that you really enjoyed. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of my content.